Hi loves, welcome to my high view court. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're already part of the family, welcome back. This video is going to be five fashion mistakes all tall women make. So if you want to know what the five fashion mistakes are, then keep on watching. Start off with this video by saying <laughs> my apologies for being so long with these new videos, guys. Life has really <laughs> hit me hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. No excuse though, but you know, you know how it is though. Everybody knows that, you know, when you try your best with YouTube, you try your best. And I'm trying to give you guys my best foot forward with this stuff, okay? So I wanted to do this video about five fashion mistakes because I feel like this could be a learning experience for somebody that's trying to branch out of their style comfort and also for the women that feel like, you know what, maybe I can improve on certain things. So I am going to start off with five down to one. Number five would have to be wearing flats too much. I feel as though we as tall women tend to minimize our height when it comes to societal approval. Like, I don't think you guys understand how many times I'll walk in the streets in DC with heels on and I'll get like a little snark comment from a shorter guy saying, oh my God, do you really need to wear those heels? You're already tall enough. And it's like, I feel like a lot of women when they get that type of comments and those looks or those, those, it kind of makes them feel uncomfortable. Um, and there was one point in my life where I was very uncomfortable of what people might say. And that is the number one thing you don't wanna do. You don't need to worry about what people are saying because at the end of the day, people are gonna talk about you regardless if it's good or bad. So you might as well look good doing it, right? Like wearing heels, I always encourage all my tall friends to wear heels because I feel like it's such a plus when you're tall already. <laughs> and on top of that, you're wearing heels. I feel like, why not? You'll see a tall woman wear some a beautiful outfit, right? Accessorized to the gods. And then you look at her feet and it's flats. That's a no-no. And I understand if you bring like some flip-flops or sandals after wearing your heels for too long. I get that, you know, cause heels are very uncomfortable, but come on, you taking pictures and you're wearing flats, it's like, ugh. Oh. Okay, so that's five. Four would be ignoring the measurements of the model in a photo. These brands now are trying to be very helpful for the consumers to figure out what size they are with size charts and listing the height of the model and what size he or she is wearing in the photo. I think it is imperative to look at the model. Please look at the model. All those little fine prints that are underneath these pictures of these brand websites are imperative because they're listing what size she is, what's her bust size, her, her waist size, everything. It shows all of her measurements. So please, I feel like that is such a big thing that women don't do we need to look at those measurements please 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 do that so that's four okay three is shopping in the wrong places where everyone else shops at just because my best friend shops at forever 21 or it's fashion nova that doesn't mean whatever she puts on or whatever she buys is going to fit me I'm very picky of where I buy my clothes from. I, I think it's because of all the experiences I had in the past with thinking that something was gonna fit and me actually putting it on in public, knowing it didn't fit. Um, so I obviously try to encourage all my tall girls out there, just because something is for all women doesn't mean it's for everybody. Number two is wearing clothes that do not fit, like lengths of skirts and dresses. Oh, okay. That is, oh, yeah, I've, I've, I, I have seen, I've seen, I've seen some, some photos that 
that were like, okay, you know? I feel like tall women struggle with is finding the right length for skirts and dresses. Cause we automatically have longer legs than the average woman, right? So certain skirts that you might buy from these brands might not physically fit you like you think. Um, for me personally, I wanted to, I want to be able to wear dresses and skirts, but that give that sexy vibe, but not like overly like, wow, I can see your private parts, you know? For me personally, you have to, like I said, one of the five mistakes, you have to be careful with buying online you have to look at the model's measurements like if the model is 5'5 five five and you want to buy the same skirt that model is wearing and you're like 6'4 like me come on I, I doubt and I've tried this before those skirts and dresses 9 out of 10 times don't fit they don't fit they don't fit so don't try to squeeze your long legs and that and and try to put it down below your waist, no. And I feel though, with these brands, they're now offering taller um, sizes and stuff like that because they know that it's a missing um, aspect in the fashion industry. So I'm very happy that when I was in college, there was no choices to buying anything tall. And now we're in 2021 and I see everything tall. So I am grateful for the progress, but <clears throat> just to make just to make things easier for everybody tall, guys, just don't, just be careful. Um, and before you press that add to cart button or buy right now, just make sure you look at the size quantities um, of that, okay? And the number one fashion mistake tall women make is not looking at the description of the product you are looking into. Like for instance, body con dress right for me i'm not gonna click on a body con dress i'm gonna click on tall body con dress for me i'm really big on adjectives i'm really big on adjectives like long stretchy tall above average like those type of adjectives is what drives me into looking into the product that you're presenting to me as a consumer. So for me, I always, always look at items online that says tall before anything, long before anything, because if it doesn't say tall or if it doesn't say long or anything, that is driving me to, 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 to thinking that that product is intended for me above average woman then i'm not buying it because that's 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 playing it risky for buying that item because you just don't know what you're gonna get and for me i hate buying something online and it doesn't fit i'm not a big returner i'd rather give it to one of my friends and have to take it i'm just not a big returner especially if it's like not that expensive it's like whatever so I think that is the number one fashion mistake us all tall women make. I've seen it happen. I've seen people be like, oh, well, this person is five foot ten and it looked good on her. And I'm like, guys, people have to understand that women, there can be a 5'9 woman with a 39 in inch inseam and there could be a 6'2 woman with a 36 inch seam. Some people have short to torsos, some people have long torsos. So you have to really be careful of what you're looking at online so i really really encourage us all tallies all over the world to be careful ordering things online please if it's not a tall girl brand please make sure that the word has tall before any type of item that you want to purchase online because you're basically playing like it's a 50 50 risk you can get it online it can come into the mail and it can fit or it can't fit and you're going to be really upset so i would say that's number one so ladies, that is my five fashion mistakes us all tall women make. I hope this video was very, very helpful for all of my tallies out there all over the world. I want to give a shout out to all the newcomers to this channel, all the new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. You guys don't understand. This gives me motivation to see how far my Harvey core can grow. And I just want you guys along with me on this journey. So thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time and I'll talk to you later. Bye.